but on my okay thank you so what i'll do um, i'll send you this recording later so that whatever you're learning here and i'm here you can come to my classes but in case you cannot and so this recording will help you so now let us set the intention that why i am here be connected with your feet and think of your feet you can think of even if body parts cannot move you can think of those parts. So now I want you to be connected with your feet. So we are sitting on chairs. So our feet are grounded. And I want you to keep your hands on either knees or thighs or center of the thighs. And from there, I'm sitting down. So what I am thinking of, I am sitting down. So I'm thinking of my hip bone. That's the area I'm grounding myself with. And you guys, you think of your feet and be on your toes and lift your toes up like this. So pull your toes up and see, once you're pulling your toes up, are you getting any sensation in your lower body? Let me know if you're getting any sensation in your lower body by lifting your toes up. So you're lifting your toes up on the way to all five toes in both your feet. You're lifting up and noticing something happening. Something happening, you can give me thumbs up. Is something happening? Yes. So I want you to really be there for two more minutes and be connected there. Those who are not yet there, you will be there soon. It took me six months to be able to know that something happens. Why so? Because I was in different style of yoga, prior to knowing this style of yoga. So seven years of different style of yoga where this connection wasn't established. So now Jan is noticing when she and Joanna both. When you lift your toes up, there is some connection with your lower body. So this is one key to get inside your body just by being aware of your toes. And we can create so much. Now press the heels right at the center. So go to your heels and find the center of it. And how to find it? You say, I want to be at the center of my heels. So for those who are dealing with any issue, you can say, I want to be, so let's say opposite of that issue. I want to be healthy. I want to be calm. I want to have sound sleep. I want to enjoy my bestest body, wherever you are. Go reverse to that, wherever your goal is. Ask questions that, and question empowers. Question opens up the space for you. You are still on your toes, lifting your toes up, and I am on my show. Now go to the next part. So while I was saying, I am on the center of my buttock bone, that invited me to say, you also be at the center of your buttock bone. So once you're at the center of the buttock bone, the weight will be equally, proportionately be on both the buttocks. And how many times do we create that? Sometimes we lean, sometimes we go to the side, but we are not balancing. And that's ongoingly inviting a disbalance, imbalance. And now being aware that you are on your toes. Now toes are up, go to the mounted portion just below the neck of the toes. In your feet, just neck of the toes and below that, there is mounted, little mounted portion of the toes. You press those down. The moment you press that down, what's gonna happen is, you're going to tell me something happening in your tummy or lower back. Thumbs up if yes. Then you are, yes. You're pressing the mounds, lifting the toes up, pressing the mounds of the toes. And now from there, you're saying, I am at the center of my buttock bone. Just saying, you need not be there yet. Believe you me, it took me longer. And because of my instruction, my all my students, they get it right away. Many, many times right away. So now you are balancing and you are now go to your palms and let your palms Go down on your thighs or on your knees, wherever your palms, or on the, the, the chair rest, the side rest of the chairs, you can put it there as well. How 
if you'll connect it with your body, that'll be better. But however, so palms are going to the center of the thighs and you're seeing the center of the palm right here, this point, center of the palm is going downwards. So from here, the energy you're pulling down and how are you doing all this? Mentally, you're inviting your mind here. So anything which is done without mind, just with the body, is not yoga. So now we are getting the sense of yoga. Yoga is union, union of mind and body. You're uniting. So you, whatever you're saying, telling to your mind, I want to be on my toes. Your mind says, yes, my genie, I'll take you there. I am your genie, I want to take you there, okay. So now be at the center of the buttocks. Be on the center of your palms. The moment you are on your palms, relax your palms and be at the center. This will open relaxation for your shoulders and some connection for your arms. Notice that kind of every cell is resonating with the energy. Notice it. This is Meditation in action. I'm asking you to take actions and that's allowing you to connect to your body. And see what's happening right now. And you are so open to see because your body is knowing that you're completely with yourself, with your body. And I'll let you be there. On your soles, move toes up and be on the mounds of the toes, on the center of the buttock bone, and press the buttock bones down, and declare, I am at the center of my buttock bone. Yeah, well, so follow the instructions, you're welcome here. And now, notice the way our palms are placed on our thighs, and we are saying, I am at the center of my palms. And allow to see yourself, where are you? So I'm repeating the steps, keep on doing this. Your feet are down on floor. You're moving your toes up. The moment you stretch your toes up like this, you press the mounds of the toes down, which is the just below the neck of the toes. So you press that down. The moment you're pressing that down, see what's happening. You are connecting with your lower body. From there, you reach out to the hip and buttocks and center of the buttock bone. And you're saying, okay, not even doing physically. So, so those who cannot move their body with some ailment, some restriction, they can still do it. And if you have heard of Dr. Joe Dispenza, he was completely unmovable, multiple fractures, multiple tears. And he, he healed himself without any surgery. So there is hope, if you can believe in that. Now, what we are doing, move your right palm up on top of your head. Now, we are going to a chakra thinking. So this is your crown. This is the way you are connecting with the divine in you, the creator in you. Now, your words are creating your world. What? Do you want to create here? I am healed. I am relaxed. I am abundant. I am calm. I am perfectly healthy now. Now, move your left palm on the back of your head, which is power band. And you're receiving power now. And you may close your eyes here and get the sensation of your palms touching on your head. Palms are touching. You're noticing your hair or maybe no hair. Those who have hair, good. And noticing the very skin of your head, hair, skull. And energetically, your palms can go, your arms can go three. Three feet away, that much you can penetrate in. And see if there is, this is bringing lightness. 
The key thing is relaxing, bringing ease, and enjoying rather than doing, 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 and getting tired and eventually not doing and not doing for forever. We are creating, relaxing, and then being addicted to this relaxation. And letting your body decide, okay, yeah, this is so good for me. Let me keep doing it. Now what we are creating, I am healthy. I am in perfect shape. And now move your hands down, please. Release it. Now, even if your palms are down, see the sensation is still here on your palms, on the parts of your head where you have this sensation, the touch, and the sensation is still there. Let me know if you're with me and you're feeling that sensation still. And keep holding on to that sensation. Even if you touch just the back of the head, which is your power band, and then you can touch with one hand, top of the head, right? Louisa, that was for you. So just with one yes. hand, back of yes. the head. So let's do with one hand because we, we understand that one of us has some limitation on the right side. So we are doing with one hand only. So back of the head, yeah, there is lightness. And I'm creating movement. I'm creating joy in my body. And that is being created for each and every one of us. Now, keep the same hand on top of your head. Now, so if you have some restriction, then you can use one hand and use it for both the sides. And now create. I follow my daily regime. I follow whatever you want to follow. Meditation, yoga, your diet, healthy eating, talking to people with respect, with love, healthy communication. And see yourself following it. Acknowledging the way Jan acknowledged me. Michelle acknowledged Jan. Acknowledging people around me. I acknowledge myself for acknowledging everyone around me. And then you bring your palms. And now let me know how deeply relaxing is that. Some of you won't want to come back. That you want to just be there because this is super relaxing. So this is a key for meditation and in meditation with your words and feelings, you can create anything. So right now, healthy body is being created for you. I am healthy, I am relaxed, I am in full movement. And this is how you will, uh, Loisa, you will repeat this daily. 10 minutes time daily, I will send you the recording. And after 15 days, you can see where where are you. It, okay. it won't take much time. It's instant. So if you believe this is instant, this is pretty much instant. Okay. Now other movement. Keep your both. Uh, so uh, Louisa, for you, keep your one hand here. For rest of us, both hands to the side like temples. Temples. Yeah. So Louisa, you will keep it on one side, and then you will keep it on the other side after some time, but keep it here. So we'll give everybody enough time so that you are able to repeat it. So now see, we have faculties here who are responsible for our senses, like eyes, vision, hearing, and we are giving power to them. And these points are also for money control and creativity. So who would not like to have that? Money control creativity points are here. So that is coming from access consciousness. And before access consciousness, this modality came to me. We used to do it because I always channel my class. I never prepare my class. I pick up the energy, whatever is good for people right here, right now. I let the superpowers, the divine guide me. So now, we are saying, I am abundant. I am in control. There is money flowing easily, freely. And I'm able to create anything, anytime, anywhere. 
And anything other than that, you destroy and uncreate all that, all our stories that I cannot walk because I had this injury. Yeah, that is the present scenario now. But I'm not limited with that. I can still walk freely. I can still move my shoulders freely. There is energy down there on my, on each and every cell of my body. I come back with me, sir. So we'll be doing it again to uh, Louisa. You will do it on this side and we will repeat this again. Okay. So now everybody, keep your palms again on your temples. Fingers are back and now feel the center of the palms touching down on the side temples. And also relax your shoulders. So for this movement, if you want to lean on the couch or the seat, the chair, backrest, you're allowed to do so. And rest your shoulders as much as you can. I am light. My brain faculties are working super fine. And there is ongoingly new genesis of whatever I need in my life. And I am super grateful. I am super thankful. And slowly come back. Okay. So this was preparation to do anything. Like anything you can create in this meditation. Now we'll do some physical movements as well. So move right side of the temple towards right side of your shoulders. So move it down there. And while you're bringing it down here, notice the stretch is there on the left side of the neck. Michelle, are you with us? Yeah. So move your neck to the side and relax your shoulders. Ease your shoulders. So palms may be facing upward. And you are letting the back of the hands go down now. While being aware of back of the hands, what your shoulders do and what your neck do. Left side of the neck is in super opening stretch. And shoulders are ongoingly relaxing and resting. Palms are still full of that sensation. It had contributed to your head. Our palms are still having that sensation. Now move your neck back to center. You may feel dizzy, so stay here, inhale. Let the oxygen go to your brain. Exhale, either open your mouth or exhale through your nose. Now let's go to the other side. So left ear, try to move it towards your left shoulder. It will not go, but you are trying to move it towards the left shoulder. And see the stretches coming on the right side when you, it's alternate side. And see the stretch is opening stretch. And you allow your shoulders to drop down. You allow back of the hands to lean completely down on your thighs. And come back slowly, back to center. Inhale. Exhale. While exhaling, you're giving up or you're just dropping all your worries. Whatever was bringing the heaviness, I'm just letting those go, move out completely. So inhale again and let go. Okay, now, those who can use both the hands, Clasp your fingers together and be aware of back of your hands. Being aware, pressing the fingertips on back of the hands will bring something. Lift in your chest or underneath your chest, tuck at your tummy, notice it. The moment you're using these fingers, these are, there are remote points. And once I am touching remote points, touching remote points on both my hands, something is happening. So now be connected to back of your hands and move your hand at the back of your neck. Yeah, Luciana, you can do it with one palm. One palm on back of your neck. Nice. And can you take other hand also towards the back? Try it. No. Okay, this much is okay. Fine. So we'll pretend that this is also contributing to that. 
this is here. We are good with this. So I'm for Louis, Louis, are you following me? And rest, yes. I will give you instructions to follow. We shall bring your hands a little bit down, a little down. Yes, that's the good place. Now think that palms are touching your neck, or palm is touching your neck. And see from there, yeah, this zoom captures my hand. So palm is touching, and there is some sensation, there is some contribution, which is opening your neck. And not only neck, it's opening your spine. And spine is your autonomic nervous system, your brain. It's opening your brain. And what the contribution here is, I have free movement and free will. I can make my body work. When I see my body is not working, I can make it work. And you are giving the blessing with the words to your body. That my body is a working body. If not, I can let my body work. And now come back. So with every movement, you're using the magical words and affirmations. You're affirming something and your body's listening to it. And it's going down deep into the programming. So that's what you're doing. Nice of feeling. Okay. Now, move your palms to the sides. And hands are towards, fingers are towards you. And now from here, you press the center of the buttocks down so that some of you, I can see the arch is there on your back and we want to remove that arch. So press the buttocks at the center of the bone. The moment you press the buttocks on the center of the bones, your spine will go back. From here, you move your palms up. Those who can do one arm, beautiful. Up, up, and stay here. Stay here and imagine as if you're pushing wall up. Pushing what kind of wall? Wall of indiscipline. Let that push away. Wall of not taking care of my body. Okay, I'm pushing that away. And I'm so mightier that I can push that away. It's a game going on. Whatever I say, I create that. So here you go. Pushing it away, pushing it away. And in, in return, what I'm getting? My muscles are getting stronger. Some pain, and those who have heard like no pain, no gain, you remember that and keep on doing this. Still. Now take your hands slowly back, a little bit more. Okay, stay here, stay here, stay here. Joanne, press your buttocks down because there is massive arch in your back. Press your buttocks down, push your buttocks down, relax your shoulders down, ease your shoulders from here to down. Yes. Okay, so now move your arms in front, right at 180 degrees with your shoulders, yes. Now, take your hands down and move it towards your body. So hands are down like this, moving it towards your body, yeah. And stay stable, yeah. So I was showing you my hand. Uh, trunk is not moving, just the hands moving. Now, hands are moving down. What's happening in your shoulder blades? Even if you do it with one hand for now, imagine that your other arm is also doing it. Imagine, even don't have to do it with mind, you're doing it. I want you to visualize that you're doing it with both your arms. Within a couple of seconds, you get tired. So if you get tired, come back and redo. Good, good step, Michelle. So know your body, where are you? So I'm doing it since last 19 years. So I have developed little power in these muscles. So sometimes I tease people who are 6'3 and I go to their gym and they say like Priyanka, please mercy, don't don't make us do this. So the muscles you're training will get stronger versus the muscles you have never trained. So we are training our muscles here. Now move your hands up again. So these are sukshma kriyas. Sukshma is subtle. Yeah, Jen, nice. Sukshma is subtle, so this is, yeah, stretch it completely. So we'll take a little rest here. Ease it and see how are you feeling in your arms, your hands, your shoulders, your neck. It's for complete body, like for upper complete body. And it's opening 
the nerves of your brain here. So we'll do it again because it's not just for your arms. Everything which we are doing today is contributing to your brain. So who's ready? Everybody? Thumbs up? Okay. So now hands together. And press the base of the wrist. Press it, literally press it. So base of the wrist, you are touching together and pressing it. Then center of the palms, you are thinking that it's coming together. Then you're pressing your fingers as well. So listen, once I press base of the wrist, what's happening to my upper arms? Notice it, just get connected. Whenever you're noticing, it's your mind you're inviting to be here. Otherwise, your mind can wander. Can think, okay, what she's saying, what she's in, what she's doing, I haven't done this before. Oh, this is good, da, da, da. So all of that. Now, when I ask you, bring your mind here, press your wrist, the mind most likely is here. And now you're noticing, when I press my wrist, there is a contribution happening in your core. Is it happening? In your core, core is tucking in. So there, you're not doing just the arms, you're doing your core work. So when I say core, it's the friendly floor. The good guys in your tummy are getting the fuel. And that's the intention. So now press the center of the palms. My palms doesn't, doesn't touch. So some people have flat palm, it would touch. But if even if it's not touching and I see, yeah, it's touching, energy from one palm is going to other palm. What's happening is my thighs, the pillars are getting stronger. My glutes are getting squeezed in. And just by pressing palms like this, this is connection from right hemisphere to the left hemisphere. Interesting. What a science. Now, press your fingers. So pinkies are going together. I'm pressing. Then ring fingers are going, touching together. Pressing. Being aware. Middle fingers, press it. So you're thinking, when I say middle fingers, you're pressing it together. Then I say index. And index, you're pressing together. Then thumbs, the side of the thumbs will touch and you're pressing it together. And you're pressing your entire palm, fingers, gently. And see what's coming. We have remote buttons here, by the way, in our palms. So once we are pressing it, some remote organs are getting activated. Notice it, is it getting activated? Yes? Not. Yeah, nice. Now from here, we'll stretch our arms. Slowly keep it on top of your head first. And from here, you are again attuning your crown. That I have the power. Beautiful, Louisa. Beautiful. You're saying I have the power. My body is has started moving well now. And I am so happy and grateful for this moment. And then from there, you stretch your arms up over, further, over, over, over. We're going to do some interesting move here, so stay on. So the moment you're stretching your palms up, see and think that with the fingers, you're touching the ceiling. With the fingers, you're touching the ceiling. Notice it. The moment you have this notice, the moment you are thinking about your tummy is going in, your spine, the vertebras, the space between vertebras is increasing. Now from here, bend your elbows and take your hands back. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Take it back, take it back. Now take it back so slowly so that you don't miss what's happening on your tummy, on your spine, on your shoulders. Notice something happening. And once you're there, you're easing your shoulders. Shoulders have the tendency to clench, to be pulled up towards your ears. And now you're knowing, okay, this is my tendency. When I hear this dialogue, I lose my temper. When I see this injustice, I lose my temper. Okay, I know that. How can I control it? Be aware and then, then don't do that. 
So now here, I'm saying shoulders may pop up. So what I'm doing, I'm easing my shoulders, relaxing my shoulders down, and then move your arms up again and bring it down. So now we'll do the same thing with the breath work. Inhale up, exhale down. So exhale with the force. Come back. Release it. Bring it down. And don't do anything for some time. Enjoy this relaxation time. And also notice what's happening. How's your breath it's moving? What's happening to your breath? Okay, so what we did was for upper body, for the head mainly. From the head, you can be in control of your whole body. But whatever we did and however we did, we kept our feet grounded. So that was also for the lower body, incorporating lower body while doing something for the upper body. And mainly upper body, the head we are really want to contribute to we are being more contributing to head because from head the messages are going to your entire body and there are sun salutation there are sushma kriyas 48 sushma kriyas we did a variation of two sushma kriyas here so 40 of those move body movement with the rigor with the breath work and with the free movement but is this any lesser than any other movement? No. This is all complete thing which I'm going to share with you. Uh, I'm going to share the recording with you. So even if you follow this, you'll be good. But then those who are willing to do more and more, more and more, so like my journey never stopped. I'm doing it since 19 years and that's sustainable. And I don't want to stop it. I am like looking for more. Give me more, give me more, and how can I do more? So if you are at that place, yeah, please feel feel free to keep in touch with me. But now I will just say one prayer, and after that I will keep it open for any question answers, any uh, sharing you want to do that. After 40 minutes of doing this, I'm feeling this now, and however you want to say it. So now one small prayer, join your hands together. Look towards your hands and heart, and in your heart, think that your God is there. Christ, your Lord, whoever you are best connecting with, think of that. And then be with them for some time. Because you are thinking of your problems more. So your subconscious doesn't judge yourself. So now if you start thinking of your accomplishments, your goals, being accomplished, then that will be your truth. So I want to be with this thought that I am healthy, I am wealthy, I have best people around me, I am a contributor and I let others contribute to me. Thank God. Thank you. Perfect. With that, we have come to the end uh, of the session that you are free to ask your question or share anything. Please go ahead. Who wants to go first? And then, yeah, please share something. Yeah, Joanne. This is so good. I feel the stretch on my body. Yeah. And you're glowing. Like you were <laughs> glowing before too, but you're glowing even more now. <laughs> Thank you. It's so good. I love this. I, uh, we will get the recording of this and I can do this often. Eh? And then uh, how could, let's say, I want to do more. How can I get in yeah. touch? My classes are happening 6.30 to 7.30. Or maybe I can coach you one-on-one -on -one too. 
So mm-hmm. take my number from Jen and I'll be happy to share whatever I can support you in. Wonderful. Thank you. Sure. Thank you, Coach Jen. Um, Thank you. Thank you for you too, Priyanka. Thank you. Pleasure, Joan. Yeah. Yeah, Hi, Priyanka. Hi, Priyanka. Uh, it was really good, though my left hand, since I'm doing everything in my left hand, it yeah. was very painful. Uh, but it was good. The stretch was very good. Nice. So where do you have do you have the classes on Zoom or where Zoom. do you have the classes on Zoom? On Zoom. Zoom. Okay. So that if way I, want I can to join, help more people. So I'm keeping it on Zoom. Okay. So if I want to join, then how do I get in touch with you? I'll take my number from Jan or I can say my number here. It's six yeah. four seven two oh, two seven. Okay, let me write down in the chat as well so that. Six four seven two two seven zero one eight six, and I'm in Canada, so plus one, as same as US. So. Oh, so you're based in US? No, I am in Canada. So plus one, I was saying like many times I have people from India. Canada, so where? I always if, if we want to come personally to you, where? Where, yeah. Yeah. where in Canada? Where? I'm in Bellin, near Niagara Falls. Oh, that's very far. <laughs> so Zoom is uh, very suitable and time yeah. to time I do my yoga retreats as well. So people fly from different places and attend those yoga retreats. And I also uh, noticed that you're a nutritionist. I am. I am. Okay. So do you talk anything about nutrition on Zoom? Uh, for a general advice, I would say um, keep a break, you know, gap between your meals, like five hours to seven hours, mm-hmm. so that, you know, whatever you're eating is being digested well and you are hungry, not just eating after, not even if you're not hungry and keep eating because there are some diets which, for you know, uh, advise you that. So that is one thing which I will give you a general advice and drink a lot of water, say three to four liters of water so that whatever toxins are there, they are getting eliminated from your system via water and breathe in. And if you can walk walk barefoot on the ground, like green Mm -hmm. grass, that will be awesome for your nerves, Mm -hmm. for anybody. And that's that's amazing. I'm going to make some videos on that and share as Jan was saying. So I can share videos later. So that's why I did not keep this session for... I could have shared my testimonials here, my videos here, but that I can share with you personally. What I wanted to hear is like where you are at and how can I support in this limited time which is given to me mm-hmm. and serving you is like serving the divine. So that's my intention that if you choose to come meet again, wonderful. But what if you not, then I can still contribute to you for whatever limited time we are here with you. So that was my intention. So nutritionist, yes. And you can call me and I can give you further. I can, I customize plan. So it won't be a cookie cutter. So that's what I do. Yes. Anybody else who wants to share? Yeah. Yes, Andre, please. Yeah. So after doing the exercises, I can feel a sense of calmness and, and um, grounded. Like before I was worrying about work, uh, to do this today, that today, and all these thoughts were racing, but now I feel more relaxed after doing the exercises. Great. So promise me that you will continue. I'll send you the recording. Please continue. Like yeah, whatever sure. part you can continue. And from now, my echoes will follow you. All of you. that Lift your toes up. Press your mouth down. So this, this was karma class, but once I... Uh, be in action is like my voice. My, I'll still keep the smile, but my voice goes like, do this, do this. So, which is like, you know, literally keeping people accountable. So, follow that, that my voice will follow you. <laughs> yes. Louisa, you want to share something? Yeah, no, I want to ask you a question. You, you said lift your toes up. What happens is that I notice that when I lift my toes up, the heels automatically go up. So I want you to do it again. Just lift the toes up. Okay, I'll show you. Let me show you my feet as well. Stand up and show you my feet. Okay, standing is not required. 
So what I'm doing is here is lifting my toes up. So sometimes when I say lift toes up, some people do this. Yeah. So just the toes up. So this portion is, this is the mounts, the mounted portion underneath the toe, neck of the toes. So you press this down. So with my, so literally sometime I come and put my finger here and ask people to press it down in my retreats. I press it down so that I can feel the intensity. So here I'm pressing it. You can see that stretch. And this heel part, the center of this, I'm also poking this down. So sometimes you can have a pulse here, which you can press down. So this goes to your nervous system, your kidneys, your liver, and it works there. And this is also your nervous system right here. So you're activating everything, not doing like movement for the sake of doing the movement. No, luckily we haven't stopped the recording. So this will go with you. So move the toes up and I'll show you both the toes down. So keep one foot distance between your feet and then move your heels out, toes up. This is Tadasana. And I can stand up, but then that will require a little bit adjustment. So we are doing it this way. Then big toe down and rest toes up. Then rest toes down. And the moment you're doing it, do it right now, please. Everybody, please do it right now. So you're moving your toes up, pressing the mounds down, then bringing big toe down and rest toes down. Now doing this much, within 30 seconds, your feet will be like, I am tired, I am tired, this is too much, even while sitting. So what's happening is every nerve, every cell, every muscle is doing some workout, which is giving you like a kick that we have to do in action. And from there, once you press the heel down, that calms you down. So the moment I'm doing this, what's happening now, my legs, pillars are getting tight. Another thing is my tummy is getting in. Another thing is my spine is getting up. So what's happening is all of this and spine is getting up. So all of that is happening. Like even if I'm sitting like in a deep squat position on floor. So this is your key. Like if you're standing, do this. If you're sitting, do this. Like I'm sitting on my, you know, cross-legged position. So cross-legged, this is your buttock bone, press that down. That I cannot show, but then it's like, press that down. The moment you press that down, what's happening is lift, lift, lift. The moment the spine is lifted up, your mind is lifted up. You cannot go down. It's like positive, because spine is up. You're able to focus more because spine is up. From spine, nerves coming out. So nerves are connected with the focus. And also nerves are connected to every faculty, every organ. It tells what needs to be done, by when, what time. It's like accountability thing. But we slant. Most of the time we are like this. Most of the time we are like, okay, this pain, that pain. And we are, you know, so sensitive that we go down. I am in pain. I am this. I am that. And that is a spiraling down thing. So with this kind of movement where you're inviting your mind to be on the movements, it's lifting you up. That's the whole piece of it. Like everything is in this, to lift up, to be aware, to lift up. Yeah, Loisa, that answer your question? Yeah, so what happens is, uh, I tried what you said. Yep. So you have to actually press your heels down also. Yes. Right? Yeah, yes. yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, that's, that's good. Heels and toes down. And let me know what's happening now. Once you're lifting your toes, pressing the mounts down, pressing the heels down, what's happening in your lower body? Let me know. I can, I can feel the stretch in my thighs and my back is a little bit straightening. <laughs> Please keep continue doing it. Yeah. Massive awareness. Please continue. Yeah. yeah. Continue doing Thank it. You. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Perfect. you. Nice. Thank you. Michelle, do you want to say something here? Add something? Um, it's like a drink of fresh cold water. I'm, my headache went away. I feel like my spinal cavity. I have real bad back pain, so mm -hmm. headache pain. So the spinal caudal being cleared, the head being cleared. I have back pain and head pain because um, I, I work as a secretary all day at a at a nursing home doctor's mm -hmm. office. So I 
deal with sick patients all day long. They're always in pain. They hurt all the time. So I deal with sickness and death all day. And so this is a like a drink of fresh water, ice water in the Oasis Desert. Yeah. Sweet. Thank you for augmenting it with such a nice words. Beautiful. And I'm, I'm glad that I could contribute to you and make, make a difference in your life. Great. So what I'll do, thank you everybody, and I'll share this recording with you and anybody who's interested, I'll keep on sharing this recording so that it can make a difference to them as well. And yeah, thank you, Jan, for inviting me. And like, Thank you so me. much. We have gone over the 11 o'clock. Thank you for your generosity and for your contribution, uh, Priyanka. Mm -hmm. Everybody, thank you all for coming. Have an awesome, relaxing weekend. And Priyanka, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jan. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone. Contribution. Yeah. Bye. Bye everyone. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you, everyone.